Hello everyone, my name is Evalon and welcome to another video. You know, as an adult or teenager, you don't have much time to play games and you have work, you know, you have to work you know, up to 10 hours a day. You have to choose a relaxing or chilling game to wash out everything and every anxiety of all day. So in today's video, we are going to count down the top 10 best relaxing games to unwind after a long day of work. Before we dive to the re video, I really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and like the video. Number 10, Terra Nil. Terra Nil, the reverse city building game aiming to replenish the world by transforming barren landscapes into beautiful, thriving ecosystems. With some handy tools at your disposal, you can clear toxins, grow new biomes, tinker with temperatures, and gradually introduce life back into the world. At the end of each map, you need to recycle all your gear you've used, leaving the land spotless so you can marvel at your creation. Though it only has a short playtime of around 5 hours, there's a lot of replayability in each procedurally generated map and three different modes, including a relaxing gardener mode that focuses on creating beautiful landscapes. Number 9. Abzu. Too often, we are on the strict timer when we plunge on the rotten in games. Whether hunting for food or drinking survival games, like Subnautica or running out of oxygen in countless others. We are always in a rush for some precious air. Not so in Abzu. This is a relaxing game from some of the creators behind Journey that encourage you to take a moment and drink it all in, figuratively that is. Here, you have a time to explore at your own pace allowing you to properly get to know the ocean. Mimicking the environmental storytelling of Journey, Abzu's mesmeric waters are teeming with a cryptic ruins itching to share their wordless stories, like puzzling punctuates each new environment of calming bliss. But this is a watery world you will want to explore every inch of before progressing. If you are done sitting on seabed in a contemplative silence, much of your time in Abzu will be spent marveling at a running fauna that is more than happy to show you around. As you clamber onto the back of the fish, the name of their species pops up, teaching you a little about your new mode of transport as you join their playful leaps above the water's twinking surface. Number 8. Power Wash Simulator And finally, a satisfying simulation game that will quickly help you win down after a long day of hard work. With more hard work. <laughs> okay, we realize that's been a running theme with a few of these entries, but we don't, we don't have the energy to clean and tidy the space around you. There can still be some therapeutic relief in aiming yourself with a jet wash and spraying colorful vehicles, playgrounds, and even subway stations until they are sparkling. Just as you might if you were power washing your backyard, put some headphones on and will away the hours of peacefully washing away the, the literal metaphorical dirt, as Power Wash Simulator has been purposefully chosen to help you unwind. Number 7. House Flipper. Have you ever watched how clean is your house and or grand designs and thought you could do it better? House Flipper is essentially a mix of the two that is allows you to turn a cockroach ridden drive on chick sanctuary and sell it for a tidy profit. But before that, you've got to get your hands dirty. As a budding entrepreneur, you'll start with a rundown shed as your base of operations and a laptop to secure business. You'll have to be satisfied with the manual work for higher contracts, such as cleaning up after gross tenants or repainting garishly illy jugged hue initially. But if you save up, you can buy your properties. They'll still be excrement smear dumps, but this time, you can make some decent money when the necessary renovations are complete. Number 6. Donut County Sometimes life can get so stressful that you just want the ground to open up and swallow you. If Donut County proves anything, 
is that this isn't entirely practical when it comes to a settlement's infrastructure. More importantly, however, it's a lot of fun. Ben Esposito's centric indie game sees piloting a hole in the ground. Then the hole gets larger with each brightly colored object that falls into the abyss. You'll start with the object as small as bricks and little craters, but you'll soon be cackling as you all consuming mau gobbles up in tire tower blocks. Number 5. Watam Leave it to Katamari the Macy creator Keita Takahashi to create a game about making friends with er, everything. In Watam, you play as a lonely mayor cast adrift after unknown disaster, embarking on a colorful open world adventure in this sandbox game. Throughout this 3 hour adventure, you meet, greet and play with over 100 different characters ranging from an anthropomorphic nose to a telephone and even a toilet, each offering a tool for you to mess around with and create your fun. Experience each of the four seasons with your new friends and even play in co-op mode so your real-life friends can meet your new virtual ones. Number 4. Greece Any frame of your four hours with Greece will look at home in an art gallery. Nomada Studios' ravishing visual design makes this shooting game feel like a sojourn through animated watercolor. Splashes of wispy clouds melt away the endless skies. Intricate mazes can be found within the daintily drawn ruins that dominate this sumptuous canvas. You play as Panima's protagonist as it brings an explosion of eye catching color to her monochrome vault. But this place you choose vault to tell the poignant story of the grief and loss through music, color, and motion. Like Matt makes games, Celeste Grease uses platforming as a metaphor. We learn our limits by jumping and falling. Number 3. Tear Down In a similar vein to House Flipper, Tear Down also sees you knocking down walls, but on a far bigger scale if your idea of relaxation is screaming into pillow rather than meditation, then Kamika's gameplay of Teardown is your virtual and pain-free way of letting your energy out on some well-earned destruction. Drive trucks into buildings, plant explosives, and even set dinosaurs loose on the vault in one of Teardown's featured mods. Teardown features leaderboards, but it's surprisingly feature-packed offline game if you aren't interested in them. Number 2. Everything David O'Reilly's sandbox game is quite the opposite of the relaxing game. It's a game that asks us, what if you could have control of all the things all at once? It then takes that whimsical concept and runs, flies and rolls with it. From 3000 playable characters you can be a daisy or a blade of grass one minute and fly through an urban landscape as a flock of birds or controlling planets the next. This is everything, and not in a initiating yoth slang sense, while having autonomy over every last liberating, with no real goal besides having fun as you mess around in your universe-sized playground. You can do as you please. In this way, everything is a calming game where you only limit in your divine imagination before we dive to the last one i really appreciate if you enjoyed the video like it and subscribe to the channel for more and ring the bell my name is ebolon thank you for watching the video up to now let's dive for the last one and number one unpacking Unpacking had a colossal year in 2022, following its release in late 2021 and for good reason. This self-professed Zen game requires little to no brain power as you seek to leave behind a troublesome day by putting things in their place. Like a few games on this list, you might find the task at hand somewhat stressful in real life. But put it in a cute, simple pastel color video game and suddenly there's nothing you'd instead do than unpack boxes in a new home. This is help because you didn't pack these boxes in the first place. So the wonders of what's inside add a level of mystery and excitement you can't get from unpacking your clothes on and kitchenware.